Hi everybody, my name's Cindy and I craft at Upcycle Design Lab. If you've seen some of my some of blah, blah, blah. if you've seen some of my recent videos, you know that I've been doing a lot of glass fusing, recycling glass bottles and uh, glass from old picture frames and things like that and making a lot of different jewelry projects. And the way that I have been able to do that is with this Fuse Works microwave kiln kit that um, I'm going to be doing a review on today. Uh, just a spoiler alert, I really love this product. I was a little bit uh, intimidated by the price. It's $119.99 at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think you can get it for less than that on Amazon and some other sites. Um, but I have really enjoyed experimenting with it and doing a lot of different craft projects. So for me, it has been well worth it just to find out what it was like to learn how to fuse glass. So let's crack this box open. I've already told you about the price. Um, it comes with the kiln, which is just this two piece. Uh, it, it feels kind of like a funny, um, not quite styrofoamy. It's pretty lightweight, but it's got sort of a funny feel to it. Um, you also get some heat resistant gloves, which you're going to want to be sure to use. And you can see that I've had a few mishaps with mine. So be careful, it gets very, very hot. Uh, you also get a cutting tool that uh, helps you score the glass. Some fusing paper that you need. It's a sing this is single use paper and you use it every time you use the kiln to protect the kiln. Obviously there's some instructions, you want to follow those closely. And then you also get um, a variety of different glass types. There's some different colors here, just in little square shapes. Then there's some sort of decorative type pieces that they give you. Um, also some bead, glass beads that you can use. And then I think they call this frit. I'm not really sure. It's just tiny little thinner pieces of glass that you can break up easily. I honestly haven't used any of this because like I said, I've been using bottle glass and recycled glass. And then the last thing that they give you are some jewelry findings, little uh, jewelry bales and earring hooks and things so you can make, you can start making jewelry right away. So basically the only other things you're going to need are uh, some safety glasses. You probably want to use those when you're cutting the glass and you need a mat or something to cut the glass on and then obviously you need your microwave. So just a few more things about the kiln itself. Um, like I said, it is two pieces. It's um, got sort of a chalky feel to it. Uh, the inside is the part that heats up right in here. And you can see when you're working with it, you'll see that there's a kind of a red glow that comes through this hole in the top. Um, so I think all the magic happens in this part right here. The, you can see the base here. It's only a couple of inches wide, so that is the actual working surface, and you want to actually keep the glass a little bit away from the very edges of it, too. So you don't have a huge working surface. Um, I have heard or seen that there, these kilns come in a couple of different sizes. I haven't really checked into how much they are or anything, and depending on um, how much fusing you want to do and how big of pieces you want to work with, obviously you can evaluate whether you want it to get a bigger kiln or not. This small kiln only takes about three minutes to heat up. Uh, you do want to kind of do it in spurts. Uh, if you watch some of, my, uh, some of my other videos, you'll see that um, I check, you know, I usually start it at two minutes and then check it periodically throughout the heating process just to see if you're, you know, if the piece is doing what you want it to. To be honest, I have had a few uh, pieces of glass explode in this microwave, and it is a little bit scary. You do want to. You do want to take it out of the microwave right away and try to get make sure that none of the glass is fused to the kiln because that can damage the kiln. So I usually have uh, my gloves at the ready and I also have a pair of tweezers or something that I can kind of pick up the glass with um, to get it off of the kiln. And then if you do have that happen, you want to just make sure that you just clean up the kiln as best you can, let it cool back down, and then start the project over. On the box you can see sort of some of the projects that they have made with, from, with the um, raw materials that they give you. 
my brain just stopped working there, sorry. Um, so you can see some of the project ideas that they have. Um, and then just to show you some of the things that I've been able to come up with with the recycled glass, these are some of my favorite projects. Um, and I do talk about a lot of the different techniques that I used in some of my different videos, which I will link to at the end of this uh, and throughout the uh, video. So keep your eyes peeled up here in this corner. There's some links going to different videos. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's uh, what I call a mosaic. How well it shows up in this lighting. So that's just a pendant that I made. Uh, this is a constructed shape triangle pendant. These are some teardrop earrings that I fused a couple different colors together to make. This was a this was one of the things that exploded in my microwave, but I kind of put it back together and refused it, and I really liked the way it turned out. Then these earrings are what I call I I, I made up names for different things, but these are uh, I don't know if you can see it. These are what I call a soft fuse, where there is a lot of definition left in the piece and it's not totally smooth, like some of the other things. And then I've also made some beads, which I was able to um, then make a bracelet out of. So there's just been a lot of different things that um, I've been trying and experimenting with, and I have really, really, really been enjoying playing with this new toy. Uh, so I highly recommend it. If you are a little bit nervous about the investment, look around online. There's some links on my blog to some... Um, Affiliates that I make a little commission on if you want to go through that to buy the Fuseworks microwave kiln But if you've been thinking at all about kind of playing around with fusing glass This is a great place to start and it's a uh, I've used this like 75 times now I don't have any idea how long it lasts, but it doesn't seem to be wearing down I think as long as you don't um, you know ruin it with by fusing glass to the inside of it uh, It should last a really long time so that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy recycling and repurposing things, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and also check out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.